all right have and have not fans now I was actually in the process of uh, jotting down my list of the top 10 emotional moments of the haves and the have nots based off a video I did not too long ago called the most emotional moment in the haves and the have nots and when I did the video that particular one was just a if someone were to ask you at the drop of a dime let's say you're talking with some friends and then the show came up and it said wow that show was a trip it has me feeling all kinds of way excited scared worried sad but what do you think is the most emotional moment of the has and the have nots and in that video i posed the question of you know if somebody asked that question what would be the first thing that come to mind in my mind it's always going to be the scene where hannah's praying with david when benny's in jail when he wrongly got put uh incarcerated because the arrest was actually made for candace instead of him and because of that scene that will always resonate with me because david was crying and it was just showing you how interconnected these characters are where David was the one to have Candace arrested, but Benny got arrested instead. And then here, Hannah, thanks to Catherine, is actually, you know, thinking that David's going to help her out when David was the one actually keeping him in jail. So to me personally, having David cry like that actually showed that, wow, it's like, you know, there's no telling how he's been living his life, especially after he's met Jim. So to have a person who's generally sincere come up to him and ask for help you know it actually showed that he doesn't have a heart of stone like most of the haves do but a lot of the comments on that video got me thinking and again i've even said this before like the scene where and again this is in relation to the most recent finale about the first 10 minutes well i guess you could say that about the first 10 minutes of the finale and the last 10 or 15 minutes of the previous episode where Hannah and Benny are at the funeral home trying to get everything in order for Quincy Jr. Then Candace shows up. Then when she opens the casket, almost passes out. Then Hannah goes off on her, rightfully so. And then when Candace like, you know, we're going to cremate him. He's not going to be buried in the church. And then from there, Hannah has that powerful goodbye to Quincy Jr. That, I mean, that resonates so much. But to me personally, again, going back to the Hannah and David, remember that the finale was maybe a month or so, a month and a half, or less than two months ago. But the scene where David and um, Hannah were praying was about three years ago. Yet in my mind, that's the first thing that pops up when I think about emotion. That's not to say that the scene with Quincy Jr. at the funeral home wasn't emotional. If, and I've even praised it so many times in so many videos because it was so powerful. I even said it in my finale review. After Hannah closed the casket, they were walking out of the funeral home. Benny took one last look and closed the door. Tyler Perry could have just said cut right there. That could have been the finale. I would have been completely satisfied because that um, moment was so emotional but in my mind it will always be the david and um uh hannah praying scene to me but also you have people talking about when um they were in the hospital after the shootout you know between warlock and his crew versus benny and uh, mitch with unfortunately hannah and Quincy jr in the bathroom and then hannah's crying at the hospital was just and again, after that episode, so many people are like, you know, this woman deserves like an Emmy, a Globe and Go Golden Globe, whatever award is associated with a show like the Has and the Have Nots. And I couldn't agree more. That was just so powerful. So I just wanted to make this video in regards to if it came down to, you know, me talking about the most emotional or most powerful scene within the Has and the Have Nots, not just the most emotional moment, it would have to be, I guess you could say, the uh, series of events from Quincy Jr. being shot, you know, to Hannah's reaction in the hospital, to disbelief about the entire situation, and uh, even the scene in the funeral home. But I feel like when it comes down to it, I think maybe not the most emotional scene, but in one of the most heartbreaking scenes, well, not just scenes, but Hannah's reaction or numbness to the situation, I feel like that award go. And again, f hear me out on this one. I feel like in terms of the most heart gripping scene was when Benny and Hannah were in the car and Benny is trying to get her to recite the Lord's prayer with him. It's like, help me pray. Come on, pray with me. But Hannah wouldn't do it in my, and again, this is just my opinion. Again, this is what this video is for to express my opinion, but to get yours in the comment section below. 
given the fact that we've known Hannah since season one, we've known that she hasn't always been a Christian. She was a Candace of sorts back in her time, but eventually turned around and found God. And she's been a spiritual anchor for many characters in the show, especially those like Catherine and the list goes on characters who have yet to have experienced God in their life. But then, you know, like Hannah came in and actually saved Catherine in more ways than one because she experienced breast cancer herself, but was able to help her friend through that. I feel like Hannah not being able to pray and not being able to talk to God, even when, you know, after the whole Quincy Jr. situation and Benny was trying to get her to do so, but she wouldn't. In my mind, that was probably one of the most powerful, impactful, heart wrenching scenes of the show, just because the character who we have known to be a Christian. Yes, she has been hypocritical, uh, judgmental, and I'm not even going to go into that, but th I will admit that has been true. But at the same time, the fact that it's like you're it's kind of like, you know, like if you go to church with your grandmother or something like that, somebody who's been alive for a while, who have seen things, done things, but have always come back to God. But even in the midst of the situation other people are in, she is able to find the goodness and the God in the situation. For example, she was kind of like the anchor for Michael after little Lizzie was killed. But now she's found herself in the same situation she doesn't know how to react to it. She doesn't even want to talk to God due to, I think a similar situation happened back in season two after Benny was in the hit and run and she was in like the uh, prayer chapel of the hospital and even like, you know, the, uh, uh, I believe like the nun or whatever came up, tried to talk to her. But even then she couldn't even pray to God because she was so angry. And that to me was just very powerful. So in my opinion, I feel like one of the most powerful moments of emotion was when there was no emotion when Hannah was really numb to it all. She couldn't, she didn't even want to cry out to God. She didn't want to talk to God. But then that turned around. I feel like that's, you know, that moment of numb it, no, yeah, moment of numbness, not being able to talk to God only gave the funeral home scene even more power when she was able to not only talk to God, but just give a tearful farewell to Quincy Jr.'s body. And it was just beautiful to say, hey, he's he doesn't matter. It's just a body. He's with the God now. And again, that was just impactful. So I, I'm going to be honest here. When it comes down to my top 10 list, I'm not even going to put the Quincy Jr. saga, so to speak, in there because I feel like it goes without saying that will automatically be number one. So to be fair to other scenes, I'm just going to omit you know, Hannah and Quint, um, well, Quincy Jr.'s death and Hannah's reaction to it from that list, just because it's a no brainer that that will be one of the most impactful scenes of the series. So I feel like this is a good idea because one comment on one of my videos, the top 10 stood out where one fan was like, Hey, you know what? This is like a trip down memory lane because I was bringing up stuff from like season two, three, and one stuff that a lot of people have forgotten about. So with that being said, be on the lookout, hit that subscribe button now for a top 10 video on the most emotional moments and the haves and the have nots, but don't expect to see any Quincy Jr. related stuff in regards to his death on there. Just because as I said before, it's a no brainer. That's number one. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll talk to you in the next video.